In light of the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation's announcement to transport operators in Savlamar, Westmoreland, that a new spot has been designated for their bus park, vendors are now concerned about their livelihoods. Since the space is not as large as the former park, they fear they'll be left out of the puzzle. Trisha Gay Kelly tells us more. For public passenger vehicle PPV operators in Savlamar, Westmoreland, Monday is moving day. The municipality and the drivers were previously informed that the land on which they conduct business was privately owned by an attorney who is now ready for the spot. They've been instructed to relocate to another venue in the town. One they complain is smaller, but if the space is unable to hold all vehicles, how will it hold vendors? That's a new concern. That uh, nobody, no vendor is not going to go back over here. I want to know where is my location, where I'm going to go to feed my family. You understand? I don't understand what's going on because them say it's Monday's the last in here. So I want to know what's going on that I can move my shop. But Alcott is not alone, as others also share the belief that the vendors must have a place in the new park. Park assistant Errol Mullings says a lack of vendors in the park puts everyone at a disadvantage. We want something to eat, you know, one must, you know, have in the park. Some have to come and the vendors come by, so the vendors have to make me food. You take without a vendors now in the park, or you take a man food, I hit him, I hit him, I decide work, you know, vending I work. Ah, you, you take him out of bread now, remember? The answer to that question was shared by Savlamar Mayor Dan Riedelansi, who says the vendors have no need to worry, as his corporation is working to facilitate as many vendors as possible inside the park come Monday. And for those who cannot fit inside the park. If not there, then somewhere else that is um, at least, to put it at the end, not having a negative impact on your, per on your earning potential. But tell them not to panic. Um, we won't just cast them aside. The new park was once used by taxi and bus drivers for their day-to-day -day operations. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.